Hello folks and fellas, welcome back, it's me and myself, and welcome to yet another snapshot video of snapshot 23W04A Where you got armor rims, let's go, we can customize armor, woo There's a lot of combinations you can do with this armor, and I will wing this video yet again But with a little more planning Yeah So in this update, we got armor rims, we got armor rims for a lot of materials We got amethyst, diamond, emerald, gold, iron, lapis, and redstone And uh, before you all say, um Y'all, <laughs> before you say, uh, uh, but where's copper, where's copper? Uh, well, I mean, co copper is here, but who wants to use copper? So, uh, yeah, we can put this on every armor except for leather, which is pretty logical since leather has its own feature where you can color it and it would be a pain to code leather for, like, coloring and adding rib rims. It's, it's, it's r probably really hard to code that. Yeah. So we got a lot of different armor trims. I call them rims for some reason, but armor trims. If you search for trim, there are 11 trims. We got uh, we got the sentry armor trim, dune armor trim, coast armor trim, which is all these. Wild armor trim, wild ward armor trim, eye armor trim, vex, tide, snout, which is probably for uh, nether stuff. Like it's it's it probably re resembles the snout of a pig or of a of a, a piglin something. Probably we got rib and we got spire. Now these uh, armors are all uh, trimmed with the coast armor trim, uh, amethyst, diamond, emerald. I think coast armor trims look the best because they're more casual. They're not like don't really have a pattern but if you want there are a lot of uh, other armor trims as i already said here are four examples here is the eye armor trim made with gold on a diamond armor uh, these are all because my little brother wanted them by the way this is the world one it adds like this 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 yeah here we got coast as i already said this is netherite on gold instead of all the way around we got the vex which is yeah it, it looks royal to me <laughs> and uh yeah th th those are th those are those also because of all this well together with all this the uh smithing table got a little upgrade as well it looks like this now this will be your outcome the here you can put your smithing template which is the armor trims then you can put some other stuff in here for example if we take this diamond helmet as i said if we take this diamond helmet and first we put a uh, uh, a netherite upgrade in, this is the uh, way you upgrade your stuff to netherite. You put a netherite upgrade in, this is also a smithing template. You put your diamond material or something in, and then your netherite, and then you get uh, your netherite stuff. And to trim it, you put uh, your smithing template in first, then your armor piece, only armor, you can't put weapons in. And then your material of choice, in my case, amethyst. And that completes my suit. Next up, something that I uh, uh, failed to show in last snapshot video yeah. is uh, that you can place heads on top of node blocks without crouching. So this goes for player, zombie, creeper, piglin, dragon, skull, wither skull, and uh, normal skull. Sorry, wrong order. Like that. Reason why uh, this has been simplified for the people who missed some snapshots. The reason why placing heads on top of node blocks has been simplified is because now putting heads on top of a node block, apart from the player head, will give the node block the sound of the mob that the head belongs to. In the player's case, it will still be a node block. <clears throat> As I said. In the player's case, it won't be no sound because uh, players don't have an ambient sound. In the zombie's case... It's a zombie ground. It also uh, switches between, like, randomizes between the different sounds that it can make. Creeper, you can freak people out. Good for pranks. Piglin. All the different sounds. And the dragon. This will make this this one will make you deaf. And the with uh, the normal skull. And the wither skull. Which basically just sounds like a pitched down version of the normal school. So that's that. Uh, if you ever want to freak people out, just put a creeper head on top of a note block. It's that easy. Also something, the enchantment glint has now been uh, reduced to be more subtle. 
Here's a comparison. As you can see, on the left side is the new, on the right side is the old. You can see that the left side has a, a way more subtle enchantment glint. Also some fixes in this update. Blast protection now reduces explosion knockback on higher levels. Didn't used to do that. Now the narrator not available uh, is grayed out on accessibility splash. I don't know what the, what, what, what the problem was. All goat horns display is ponder goat horns that uh, now doesn't uh, happen anymore. So if you go to goat horns. They used to all display as ponder. But now only ponder displays as ponder. The rest is also sing, seek, feel, admire, call, yearn. And dream. You used to not be able to select incompatible resource packs with the keyboard navigation in the menu, but now you can. If you go to bare bones, for example, you can select them again. That is it for this update, apart from some more technical changes that I won't go over because Mo Yang didn't go over them either. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. If you liked it, please subscribe. I know it's a bit of a short video, and yes, I do have the vanilla cape. I know this has been a bit of a short video, but this update isn't that big either. I mean, it's big, like, it's big as a feature, like, the <coughs> like the armor tri trimming is big as a feature, but the update doesn't really have a lot of stuff. Like, it had, it had armor trimming, that, that that's basically it. And reduced enchantment glint. But that's basically it. Also, if you're wondering what these are, this has been a feature in the new 1.20 uh, snapshots for a while. Uh, these are hanging signs, uh, in case you missed them. But uh, yeah, if you want to know more about the 1.20 update or snapshots, just watch my other video on that snapshot, on the first one of the snapshots. You will learn a lot about it. Right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye!